Hello everyone, my name is Marcus G. Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. What new problems is Chicago Fire in store for? The forthcoming bedroom scene in Magnum P.I. will be how punchy. Will the most peculiar enigma at Monarch be resolved? Continue reading to find the answers to all of those questions and more. Please feel free to forward any new questions regarding Chicago Fire to Emma at Wilder via Time Jump. Inside Line spoke with Fire showrunner Andrea Newman, who confirmed that there will be a Time Jump leading up to the premiere on January 17th. She said that the viewers and 51 are all in it together. The 51 gang is trying to navigate all of it while going through a roller coaster ride throughout the episode because there have been big changes. Since there are currently just four members on Chicago Fire Department's Truck 81, would a new candidate be selected? Oh no, Tank 81 is getting a new firefighter, and they're not joining for the reasons everyone thinks, teases showrunner Andrea Newman. The rookie will undoubtedly cause some difficulty, but will it be good or bad? We will determine the outcome. Does anyone have any details about the outer range of Amazon Prime? when season two will be available to stream, or whether filming has wrapped. According to Nelson, filming for season two has concluded, and we are still on schedule to release it in 2024, as I can confirm. Has there been any announcement on the release dates for seasons four and five of the J.K. Rowling TV series? When will the Coroman Strike books written by J.K. Rowling and Robert Galbraith be published in the U.S.? Unfortunately, Max only has seasons 1 to 3 accessible. Hello, Dan. Episode 4 of the American version of CB Max will be attacked by Strike in the year 2024. Tell me about the two most recent episodes of Magnum P.I., Dear Jade. Speaking of which, in the first of the two last episodes that will run on Wednesday, Amy Hill, who plays Kumu, is really great. Impressive performance, accompanied by profoundly moving content. In the show finale, Thomas and Juliet are faced with a challenging case that demands their immediate attention and resourcefulness. They must solve it quickly or face dire consequences. Please tell me how punchy the new Magnum P.I. film is. Seen in the bedroom, from one to very punchy. This is Adina. It packs a punch, in my opinion. Perdita Weeks was not cheap with the price. In the first moments of the series finale, Viewers are treated to a glimpse of skin and are teased with the prospect of another shared shower. Will advertising play before, during, or after Prime Video shows? This is what Lincoln said. The Prime Video representatives I contacted on your behalf are being mum on the matter. Tune in on January 29th, I suppose. Does anyone have any additional information about the final voyage of Intelligence star Haley Upton from Chicago PD? Sarah? Hell. According to showrunner Gwen Sigan, who was quoted by T. Lyon as saying, It's a big season of growth and change for Haley Upton. We find her at the start of this season in a precarious place, wanting to move her life forward after finally taking off her ring, finding that it's more difficult than she'd like. This news was shared alongside the hashtag 2024 first look photos. In addition, Sagan told TB Line, This season we'll see that journey and get to see Haley up against some new characters, ones that challenge and push her towards that confrontation. There's a lot she still has to confront in herself and doesn't necessarily know how to do so. It's going to be an adventure. Got any more details about SWAT? I am Jeff. Showrunner Andrew Detman tells Inside Line, Given that this could be SWAT's final season, we're going to return to our roots to some extent. We'll really put Hondo in a vice between his allegiance to his community and his commitment to being a cop. The whole black versus blue notion that started the show back in season one. Really, Detman wrote could. Is Fox still planning to cast female stars in a Starsty and Hutch remake? Can you tell me who they're thinking of and whether one of them identifies as LGBTQIA+. This is Eliana. Fox is currently working on the reboot that was announced in February, 
but they haven't revealed any casting or character specifics just yet. Season 2 was the turning point for me in good trouble, thanks to Mariana and Evan. Please tell me if they are ending things because I am emotionally drained waiting each week to hear that they aren't fitting back together permanently. I need to know so that I may complete the grieving process. By Caddy Ann. Even if we hope they make it to the end, we haven't seen the series final yet, so we don't know if the two are endgame. We can tell you that in the first few episodes of the last season, Mariana and Evan seem to still have love feelings for each other, at least on one side of the equation. Their already difficult new working relationship becomes even more so because of that. On Hulu, I've seen every episode of Harrow's three seasons. Apparently, the pandemic was the reason behind the delay of a fourth season. Is there any update on the possibility of one? Season 3 concluded three years ago in April. Yet the Australian drama still hasn't been formally renewed or cancelled. Though I will continue to inquire, I would like to know for sure if Billy or Shaw is the grandpa of the monarch. Legacy of Monstrous Children Where is Billy now? And why does Shaw, who should be at least 80 years old, looking like he's in his 50s? Dear Lonnie, John Goodman's portrayal of an older Bill Randa is explored in the 2017 film Kong. Skull Island and the episode airing on December 29th provided a satisfactory response to your first query. Concerning Colonel Shaw's unusually high level of physical fitness for someone of his age. Well, Kurt Russell's character brings it up again before the season ends. However, Crumply Crunch isn't the key and I should get a thousand TV line power user points for that extreme haircut. The Alex Cross Amazon series. Any updates? Dear Joey, the first season of Cross, starring Aldis Hodge, Leverage, has wrapped production, as far as I am aware. I really hope it outshines Kiss the Girls. In regards to her personal life, Sister Wives star Robin Brown has been tight-lipped. Her fans were also confused as to where her children were because she rarely posted on social media. Robin allegedly done horrible things to her children, and many people have spoken up about it. One of the grown-ups is trying to hide the truth from the others about their biological father's cancer battle. Some Reddit users went so far as to compare Aurora to David Jessup in a photo, shocking many. Stay tuned to see the snapshot of the identical twin father and daughter. David, who is currently battling illness, was married to Robin before. To help cover his medical expenses, a fundraiser is being planned. The contribution page provides details about his diagnosis of chronic myeloid leukemia. Jessup starts taking chemotherapy today and will do so for the next 10 to 15 years. Her ex-husband allegedly battered Robin, says Robin. In addition, she claimed to be the one who was filing for a divorce. However, David's cousin eventually took down the post and made it public that he had asked for a divorce. Their marriage was irretrievably broken, and they were experiencing marital discord, as stated in their divorce filings. Some Redditors were triggered by an image that compared Aurora to her biological father, David. The similarities between the two have been pointed out by several especially in the nose and lip regions. Robin wasn't alone in feeling heartbroken at being forced to part ways with her biological father. Take a look at some of the comments left on the photo of the father and daughter standing side by side. At the same time, everyone could see that David and Cody were very similar, especially when it came to their hair. The discovery that David was Cody's third cousin, though, shed light on the similarities between the two. Christine Brown, who is currently married to Cody's third wife, is Jessup's first cousin. Dayton allegedly thought about relocating to be with his biological dad. He was never content with the concept of changing his name from David Preston Jessup to Dayton Preston Brown, according to other Redditors in the same thread. Brainwashing, so the story goes, made him and his siblings think their biological father was a bad guy. But there are commentators who, with the help of the internet, believe they have discovered the truth. Their future as parents is revealed by Michelle, Logan Brown's wife, on Sister Housewives, fans of Sister Wives star Michelle Petty and Logan Brown are curious about their whereabouts. 
Since they were married, a year has gone by. They talked a lot about wanting to start a family. Their plans to start a family were recently revealed by the 31-year-old wife. Continue reading to discover Michelle's perspective on the subject. Logan and Michelle aren't bashful about showing how much they love their nephews and nieces. Janelle shared images of their kids playing with other kids at Gwendolyn's wedding in July. Logan and Michelle's pregnancy with Mike Kelty's twins piqued the interest of many. According to the eldest son's first wife, who was also their second wife, the couple is trying to become the funnest aunt and uncle ever. Many were amazed by their steadfast commitment to the kids. A lot of people even advised them to start a family of their own. Janelle recently posted a video of the children from her Christmas party. A video of Logan playing with one of Mike Kelty's twins, however, catapulted him to fame on the internet. In subsequent remarks, fans were curious as to whether he had any plans to settle down and establish a family. But when the subject of starting a family came up, Michelle jumped at the prospect. Her mother-in-law posted about her and Logan's possible pregnancy on Instagram. According to her, they still haven't decided to start a family. Equally elegantly conveyed was her plea that they stop asking about their plans to start a family. Also, some Redditors had something to say about the married couple's plans. Nothing is known about how Cody spoke to his kids after his awful breakup with Janelle. The grandfather made an effort this year, though, by attending Savannah's high school graduation in May and everything. Unfortunately, it seems like his dispute with Gabriel and Garrison is still unresolved. The season finale left viewers wanting more from the Brown family. The tensions rose throughout Tell All, Talk Back, and Look Back as Cody continued to hold his exes responsible for the family's breakup. On December 31, 2023, TLC will telecast the second installment of Sister Wives, and on December 29, 2023, Sister Wives, Talk Back Part 2 will premiere. If you want to stay up to date with Sister Wives, be sure to visit TV Shows Ace. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay with us.